Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Jag inte min första gång i till gatan mitt. Look closer, right mouse or left shift. Check items, one, check map, two. IMJ, okay. Fine. Right, okay. Ah, stereo ring. It's rainy out there. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please, don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. Sam. Who's Sam? I'm locked out of my own house. Oh, I will go around. The... Do I have a key? Why do I not have a key? Do I not have a key? Oh, is that me? Okay. Can I go back outside? It's nice out there, it's raining. Did I go on holiday and, and not take a key with me? Did I think that was a sensible thing to do? No, oh, seriously, tell me how I get in. Take that note. No, can't take it. Can I? Can I take it? Pressing all the buttons. Oh, I don't know how to game. I'm gonna do work well this. Like a crap. Grab a Christmas duck. Press right mouse or left shift. Left shit, left shift. Hey, I've got a duck. Six dollar duck. Bye duck. I'm trying the doormat. Alright, I 
already kind of want to quit this because I'm getting mad. Cool, hey. It's not a cup, it's a, it's a beaker. Is it? Oh god, yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna miss loads of stuff. Hidden under old Christmas duck. No, it's dark. No, it's dark. I don't like it. Can I put any of these lights on? Why am I looking at tissues? What's that noise? I'm creeped out, man. I'm not closing the door, I'm not going to run out of it. Dark here. Invoice. Boxes, kitchen, boxes, master bed, boxes, child bed, boxes, library, office, television. Sit down. So they've moved. Dear Katie. So much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. I keep hearing noises. I don't like it. I wasn't expecting this to be this scary so soon. Or, well, you know, scary at all. Why would I want two taps on? No, 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 no. Oh. Does this thing stay scary? This just freaks me out, right? I'm turning it off. Why is this empty house so noisy? No, it's a serious question by the way, does it stay like scary or am I just being a wimp? No. I don't know how to turn the lights on. 
Did they stay on? Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Is that where I've been? Amsterdam. Lights stay on. Cool. I tried turning that on earlier, but it didn't seem to want to work. Oh, uh, what's that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you like. Hetero in Mexico. Here we Dear John, so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Scary lightning. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you and I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them, seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So, how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous. Da 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 da. Carol. No. Does everything have to make a noise? Dog on cool 17th birthday. Happy birthday, Sam, from Uncle Harvey. Where's that down there? Directory directions to work from new house. One hour, ten minutes. Why has it got to be noises? Ugh, worst. I don't any more of that crap. Hey, I wouldn't live an hour and ten minutes from work. Upstairs, then I guess. Hang on, I don't want to try this door. Nah. I literally can't walk in there. There's a red thing. No, I can't walk in there. I will. If, if, show respect, they've all buggered off and left me.
Why don't I ring the popo from the phone? Can I ring the popo? Why don't I ring someone? Why don't I ring someone? That would make more sense. Uh, is it on the left or the right? Is that it? Hi, thank you. Hi, Mum, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done many Parisian things, including eating le petit déjeuner and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. What a hipster. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favourite sister. Mr. Miz, who's, who's this dude? There's all sorts of weird things I can pick up. See, that corner looks like the corner at the beginning of the first Resident Evil and, you know, you traipse around the corner. And the zombie slowly turns to look at you. Is there a television on in there? Welcome, new student. Uh, whoever it was didn't have the positive attitude. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Psycho House? What? Is there any jump scares in this? I'm gonna... Oh, I deeply regret opening that. Close that. It's dark in there. Hey. Are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this. No scares. I'm just freaking myself out, yeah? Since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends. You can't even spell friend. Was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? It is creepy though. With the light switch man. Well, I see, you know, it does these lightning things on purpose. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service 
reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County, Tecelma County, and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Thanks, Dad. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. She seems cool. Lashings of ginger ale. This is a severe weather warning. Didn't even leave me any pizza. Please find Pioneer Austin Unit County. with remote and cables. We need a half page review North for the October County. issue. So that gives you two weeks. County. Standard stuff. Yeah, can't be player, so check it CD playback with a few discs as well as a laser disc. <sighs> and they want us to definitely hit the signal to noise ratio and toss link stuff for high end buyers. Oh man, I never did have a laser display and I keep looking at them on eBay and I need one. <laughs> it only just emailed you, huh? Someone had a fort? No! No, I don't want anything to do with the, with the poltergeist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, don't want that shit. To stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. The turtle people. Part one. Oh god. Captain Logo looked off at the ocean. It went on for hours, it seemed. Some day she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire boom and it was a black pirate ship. Close these curtains, god damn it. This is a severe I'm a new for being an only published author, but my editor at High Five Fish and Adler is too much review work. Time those goddamn thunderclaps to my hover over stuff. Not just another James Bond. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following. I'll take counties. that. Loud for one of those. It's not even plugged into any speakers.
flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Very 90s. That's, I presume, it's supposed to be. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service warns that five oh. winds with torrential rain conditions there. affecting the following counties: Austin County, Boone County, What was on telly? Ooh, X Files. Kelma County and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay in <gasps> American Gothic. Oh, that's some good Blood TV. American Gothic, Red Dwarf, Mork and Mindy, Walker, Texas Ranger, Robocop. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports. Not going there because it's too dark. Forestry. Oh, no. Oh, tortilla chips. Uh. No. <laughs> My car is too dark. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Two seconds. Everywhere's gonna be too dark. Isn't it? Tissues, coupons, what are these ones for? More tortilla chips. Are we gonna have a party? Weird noises. Don't you all bless me? Katie, please tell mum and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Most things are missing. Like mum and dad are missing. Hi Lonnie, so if you want to come over to my house still this afternoon that would be cool. I can drive, it's kind of far but I can drive you home too so hopefully that's fine. Leave this in my locker. We can meet in the parking lot after 6. Yeah, I am totally in. See you there. Then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. This is Lonnie the girl. Okay. So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Oh, psycho house friend. Please both your phone, don't tell mom and dad of the attic. Well, I'm not going up there then. Cool, good. Why would I want to turn a lamp off? Uh. I can't see a light switch. I need a torch somewhere. So dark. Oh, it's got a fucking lamp on in here. Okay. JFK. Pioneer. Oh god. A thousand bucks. It's about right, yeah. Oh, you didn't even have to turn the laser disc over. Can you 
didn't finish that. Sent back in time to Dallas 1963 again. Turn it back, turn it back off. Turn it back off, don't like it. Okay. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on four. Thunder and door frames disrupt circuits by directly behind the surface. Properly pre-working the electric system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures of the structure. After discussion, no, I am not a fan fan. But Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, issues will not be addressed. Cool. So, great. So, the lights are gonna go out on me at some point when I walk somewhere. The guy dirty turns. I write on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have had more than a little time to consider my past and my family, and my thoughts have often lingered on your development and welfare in the ten years since we last met. Your marriage something gives me much reassurance in this regard. You are always welcome on Arbor Hill. I will understand something if you feel you can accept this invitation. Don't like it. Do I know the combination to this thing? Gaze and how just sort of purchase.
no four five one. Okay. Dear Terence, David asked me to write to you regarding the reviews. Trying to ignore the noises. little noises thank you for an interesting offer Okay, possessing full competence and devils. What button logs you out? What are you doing? Well, don't click log out. I can't play this by myself. Oh, then we inherited the creepy house. Oh, I can't read that. That's the same thing as before, isn't it? Right, okay. If I've missed anything in here, let me know. Did I not go in the room? I didn't go in this room. Of course it's dark as shit. Cool, just the foot zone. Happening to remember. Sam's assignment. Below are two stories, the events are all out of order. All I can see is menstrual snake. Okay, then choose one of the stories and rewrite it, begin with the title. How old was she? Because this is for like. This is strange. If I can find the ovum before the other sperm do, I will be the winner. This is great. What was that noise? What was that noise? What was that noise? I'm trying to read.
read the end of this fabulous story. <laughs> it is incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. Brilliant. Can I have a glass of whiskey? Oh, apparently not. Can I have a shot of whiskey? No. Oh, why is there going to be more doors? Dark as all hell in there. Mm. Mantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He's missed having his friends Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighting tape and I gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with these games anyway. No hurry returning it. Let Samantha know she's welcome back to our house to visit any time. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. I'll use it. Have I been every oh, how do I go upstairs? She was saying weird shit about the attic. If I like see a glimpse of a person shape somewhere, I'm turning the game off. I still, I still haven't been in that. What? What? No. That holy Bible is standing up by itself. Kick that shit over. Go away. Up there. Light, 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 light. Doesn't have a bloody landing proper light. Troll burn, did you go to jail? Cards. Oh, they've gone. Very well. Clipping into the floor. Uh. I can't read that. Cooking. Something cooking. Come in. Temporary personnel transfer.
It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. <laughs> All right. How big is this? Who would live here? It's too big. My little tell is on. Why don't they have proper ceiling lights? Adventurous the cat returns. Did you play Chen Li? <laughs> Should play Ryu. Super Spitfire. Oh, look, magic eye pictures. <laughs> I'm not doing them in case. Do these work? Are these like actual magic eye pictures? No. Here you go, Mitten, have some pate. <laughs> Jody Foster looks so young. I think there's another door open. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect <laughs> for you. Three students from each track would be able to full scholarship. There's a light on my. Thank you. Some tissue boxes. This is the one me and my dad are building when I go for a ride when it's done. Steggy. Bloody X -Files. Some have this enough upgrade. There is a bunny playing a keyboard against a sky full of seashells. It's awesome. Sweet the 
disciples. Oh, I had a cat in. Two seconds. me a drink. Sorry for you having to listen to me slurping. Right, read chapter. What's this thing again? I will. I do what I want. Hang on. I don't need your permission, do I? <coughs> okay, cool book. Creepy kid. The Mighty Mighty Bostons. They had a song I liked. Dandy Warhols, Lisa Loeb. Uh, okay. And I had those light up stars on my ceiling. Glow in the dark stars, I should say. What the? Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. So either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. <laughs> God, I thought it was pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also something about cheeseburgers is important. <laughs> Pretty good synopsis of the film. Never actually seen it all the way through. Well, if the house wasn't so creepy, we wouldn't have to keep the lights on. Daniel called, Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. Reached only worded letter. Eh? That's the store I just came out of here. It's just dark up here. In the bathrooms. Alright. Hair dye. Hair dye. Yep. <laughs> Lani brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, 
you're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. This is I knew it was hurts. How my bathroom often looks. It's not broken. No, don't. What's in there? Where have you? Timmy tampons. Yeah. Loads of them. The trouble is when you walk, it doesn't sound like your own footsteps. It like doesn't match with how you're moving. Oh Christ, and mum and dad are seventies dudes. This is my second passage through the channel. I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels. Sorry, I didn't write to you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. I think you really should visit. Alright. There's a phone directories everywhere. Uh, that's a pretty bad texture. Do I want to go through Mum's drawers? Hehe. <laughs> Guys, to turn that back off, yep. That nearly looks like a real photo. Send any creep here. I know, right? JPEG pants and socks. Oh, 
God, I thought the shadow in between those curtains was a man then. And I nearly died. <laughs> oh. I was just trying to have some sex. Romantic bath tips. I think I will leave the parents' sex palace for now. Dark. Oh, why is everywhere so dark? Did I go up there? What was in there? Five million bathrooms. Nope. Uh. Don't like it. Katie, Mum and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. No, no. I can do without thunder and lightning every time I open the door, goddammit. Is it actually a ghost in this thing? Is that a spoiler? See what she likes, pink haired Lonnie. Lonnie's pretty cool. No ghost, good, okay. Since all my old shit. Indispensable. Okay. Can we find any more tapes? Halloween show. Art, yeah. Let's enjoy that. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes, and then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Oh, to be 17 again. Or oh, however old she is. Heavens to Betsy. Oh. <laughs> no, that is not how you put the tape in hell.
all the 90s was great, was it? Oh, my nan had one of them. And I wanted it. Oh, I can't close it again. Okay, well that's it. Healthy choices. Well, only holy crap, I was in the lab, I noticed it was there. There's a secret passage. From the library. Or in the closet. From Dad's room. From Dad's closet. Oh, I don't want to go in secret places. Creepy enough. That frightened me. Oh. Uh. But there's there's like the creepy looking red shit I haven't been in yet. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights on. Oh, I see. Um, should I go up the attic yet, or should I go and check out the secret passage? I don't know. Why am I on the wonk? God fucking damn thunder. I can't do which one. That it won't open yet. Okay. What happens if I try? Will it make me jump? This house just doesn't even make sense. Check up the stairs and everything's over to the right. Yeah, by the time I'd read what you said I had found out. But I might have stood there and waited. So there's a basement that's locked. Okay. Okay, right. I'm gonna go up here. <coughs> I just couldn't open the thing, so I'm trying it this way. Well, I didn't know how to open it. I'll go back up if I must. Are there any lights in the secret passage? I'm going to wait for you to answer that one. Are you sure? Because it's dark as shit. Right, okay. Library, 
Oopsie, how far you have to the supernatural discovered zero. Upstairs more fire. Thunder, fuck off. Right, straight through. I cannot get my bearings in this house. Am I in the right place? That's Sam's room. No, not touching that shit. <laughs> yeah, I just had a feeling I should go in from the bottom and not the top, so to open to da 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 da. Let's put that down, don't want that shit. No. Go back away. Where'd that panel go? Did I just throw the panel into oblivion? Or what? Oh, that creaking. Worst. Oh god, shut up. In between the fire and dad's office. Magical flint milk pistol, eh? Oh, Dad's office. Oh, God, bearings. That way. myself again then. Why is there a misfit flyer? Okay. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust. And then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hoped she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. 
I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Nobody wants to explode. Oh. Lonnie came over today. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> it's no laughing matter. Me. Basement key, okay. <gasps> Naughty. Stolen shit. Cigarettes. Basement key. Who do I basement? Down for. Okay. And uh, die. I'm sorry, it's mostly just me mumbling as I stumble around a house. It's dark. Oh. No, come on. That's real dark. Jesus. <laughs> Marvellous, is it, listening to me bumbling? on their crisps as well. See Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode. I enjoyed the flavourful potatoes and also it was weird being around your parents for that long but it was pretty funny. A fancy man. gonna make me sad don't tell me don't answer that it's different now I mean we still hang out all the time like before but now when no one else is around 
Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Tell me if I miss um, a light switch anywhere. Congratulations, creative writing track. <laughs> Scholarship, eh? Hey, creaky shit. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Dear Terence, I keep sending along. I certainly recognised my son in the subject matter. An author's work is the externalisation of that which he holds dear and that which he fears, and in this request, respect, I believe your work was successful. But the lens through which the per personal John was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible authors speak of their life's milieu in clear and honest tones, a lens crystal that refracts their thoughts of their distortion. <laughs> you can do better. Sounds creepy. Wish you were here. Oh, wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit, here you come. <laughs> they tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, You didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. Kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. see on like American stuff that they keep loads of things in their basements and I don't know if 
that's the thing that actually occurs. Because you're always like, oh, it's a fire hazard, you've got to get all the papers out. I miss a light. Oh, I'll read this, I'll go back. So happy I like the drawing. You look Mexico, I think, probably. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, sorry, I thought you meant I'd missed one. These two are just the cutest. Even the song titles are nineties. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now, and I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. <laughs> I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Oh, they bought a necklace. Pretty sure me and Jane had one like this when I said best and the other said friends. Pretty sure I bought that. Not, no, no. Oh, have I got to go up there? Uh. Mm. Well, why is that thunder so loud down here? I really oh. how far up is the light? Okay, it's by there. Oh good. Oh, it doesn't work. Then I'm gonna assume there's nothing in there. Nope. Go walking into shit now. Have I got to go in there? It's dark. Paper tape. Behind the wardrobe, I don't even remember which wardrobe. <laughs> I 
have to tell me where. Oh. Did I see that before? Let's go away, thunder and lightning. No need. It's dark. What's that? No. Shit. Oh, sorry for me being scared of everything. Oh, okay. This is the stuff she's been I've been hearing. Take player in here. Heavens, that's terrorist. Miss Greenbrier. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't really approve of her music, but I'm sure she enjoyed it. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? about who she is. She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Damn house. It's wrong with such a bitch. Let's switch on right, okay. I'll look at it now. So let's go to the house then, apart from creepy. Oh, 
Let's drop. $120 on here. She had a manicure as well. That's not... No, in the 90s that would have been ridiculous amounts of money. Oh, this lights could stop flickering. Right, if I walked in there, then I want to go left, I guess. Uh, no. Jesus. How big is house? I see I'm down around the other side, which was locked. Okay, slightly less weird. I guess. I jammed two tickets. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Oh, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. Oh my god, parents just don't understand. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. I'd like a congratulatory margarita as well. As if it was a fucking dog. Oh, there's... No, whatever. Right, I just came out of there. Okay, I'm going in here. I'm lost. I'm gonna give him this. This is the most ridiculously sized house. I thought, I thought like... I've been in some big houses. You know, what with private school. 
this is absurd. What am I looking at here? Frozen spinach. Great. What are any of that? Oh, ice cream. Mm. Mr. And Mrs. Jonathan Blair, the manager of their daughter. I don't know who they are. Some schedule working at Crown Hello. It's it's not just wide, it's it's wide, it's tall, it's got basements, it's got secret shit. Daniel has a green mouth. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends. How much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school and dad, and Lonnie, and then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. But for some reason, I almost believed him. It's not a bad spelling of ocean, it makes sense. So much brighter. Good under cupboard lighting. Mm. Oh god, it's long. We aren't the men in black. Men in black didn't come out yet. I mean, mother and I will be away for a long weekend, so we our anniversary will be camping in the gorge. Give you a call on the way home. Forty dollars on the table to order pizza when we're gone. Be good. Saw this. Oh, Gary's. Slow sometimes. Yep. Yeah, what do you think? Can I open that door? Can I leave? I gotta bus out of here.
going away show. Lonnie had her going away show with Don't the band. Don't laugh tonight. at me. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Why, why? Don't, be, don't make sad things. Let's all be happy. Let's all just be nice, happy. Okay, you laugh at what you like. Utility room. See, there's me going, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, my greenhouse. Look at this map. Look at the size of this house. Weekend day, eh? okay. Yeah, it clearly is lacking a pugwin. Sounds very dramatic. What's this now? More secret doors. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. I don't like the sound of this. We worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that in her arms. In the morning, I woke up and I was finally alone. Like, 
Where's me scared to go in there? The skull is the coolest thing I've had in Mexico. It was like three bucks. <laughs> it's the one on the shelf. Okay. So that should. Yeah. Okay, skull. If the noises could stop, that would be real cool. Why, why would you build a house with all this creepy shit in it? Oh, let's not, let's not do Satan shit. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. No, oh, come on. Let's, let's not have. Let's not have satanic shit on the go here. Let's back that shit up. Don't need any of that. Yeah, no Oscar, thanks. Any snaps? I don't want to go in the attic. Have I missed anything that you know that you can remember? Yeah, I hate dark rooms. Oh yeah, there was a safe, wasn't there? <sighs> These lights are not safe for developing photographs. What's that noise? Ruining developing pictures by switching your lamp on. Lonnie in my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said... Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Right, as long as nobody's dead.
Katie, I'm so sorry. That I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love.